Oh, I'm smacking. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on, guys? It's the Crucial Team coming at you with another Q&A video number eight. I believe is the number we're on now, if I'm correct. If we're not on number eight, we're on number nine or ten. Because I haven't really looked at uh, my older Q&A videos and I'm just going off with me. So how you guys doing with myself? So today, we're doing another Q&A. Uh, we have a lot of good questions today. Because um, uh, last time I was just like, let's do a question and answer video. And that was with me and Brittany and it was kind of, it was kind of iffy. Because the fact that there was a couple inappropriate um, questions that kind of offended me and Brittany a little bit. But we didn't want to say anything to you guys because... We thought you wouldn't want to do this anymore, so we decided to keep that to ourselves and just answer the question and then just say, hey, that's kind of bad for you to say, but whatever. Uh, so we're doing another one, and I promise you, uh, I'm not going to get mad at any of these uh, questions that you guys are asking, because they're actually pretty good questions to ask me. So um, we're going to go right on to it and start um, answering your questions that you have ready for me on my laptop right down here. And yeah, let's get in. First question. Comes from Alicia Chris Miller. Always love hearing her questions. I hope you're doing well in Flint too, Alicia. Um, she asks, what's my favorite TV show? My favorite TV show kind of consists of many TV shows, but if I'm going to choose any TV show out there, um, for the best uh, top three to me, number one would definitely be Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, the second one would be The Walking Dead, and then third would be Fallen Skies. Just because all of those were like fantastic pieces of art, for a TV series, they were they were great. I thought they were amazing. Um, the next question comes from Aaron Moore, my girlfriend. Um, yes, I have a girlfriend. Um, she asks, "What's the best pizza place I've ever had?" And she said after that that she knows that she's weird, but you're my weirdo. Um, anyways, uh, the best pizza place I've ever been to in Saginaw. Uh, I'm probably gonna say right now because I've never really been to that many pizza places out of town because. Usually when I'm out of town, I don't always I don't get pizza or any of that shit. I always end up getting fast food restaurant things like McDonald's and Taco Bell. I never get pizza from anywhere else besides here. So I mean, if I'm gonna choose pizza, uh, best pizza place I've ever been to is Pizza Hut because Pizza Hut's just great. It's got some stuff crust. It's got all the best pizzas. Yeah, I think Pizza Hut's probably the best pizza place. Um, next question comes from John Granville, and he asks a certain question that involves Blazer Combat. If you guys already know that you laser combat, then yeah, you're probably familiar with it. If you're not, laser combat's a laser tag experience that's outdoors with guns that are, look actually like real. They look actually like look real. Look like real guns, like you know M16s and Uzis and P90s and uh, M1911s. Um, they uh, they actually look like the actual guns that you would see in real life, and they actually have the same exact weight almost as the real guns in real life. And basically, you go around, shoot the other enemy team with each other. There's different game types, like capture the flag, team deathmatch, and all that crap. So you know what I'm saying. Um, anyways, he's asking me, what's the best laser combat kill I've ever had? Um, best laser combat kill I've ever had, I'd have to say, was when... Um, uh, damn it. Uh, okay, so it was, uh, it was a long time ago. It was my first ever game. At, well, actually, it was my, probably my third or second game in laser combat when I first started and we were at White Pine. So I was a whole, all the way across White Pine from the 8th grade building all the way to the uh, parking lot next to the auditorium and the 7th grade building and the 6th grade building where the enemy team was spawning, if you know where White Pine is in Saginaw. Uh, I, I had an Uzi and they told me that I probably shouldn't try and take the chance of trying to shoot all the way across from the map right there because there's a good chance I might not get it. However, I was getting pretty lucky in that game because I was killing everything with an Uzi back then. Well, actually, I still am pretty good with an Uzi. Um, on laser combat. So, anyways, there was two. There was a bunch. The enemies were all coming back from getting spawned in, and it was dark because we were playing in the dark. And I thought maybe I'd try and get a couple shots in and see if I get anything. And what did you know? I took two shots over on that side of the map, and I ended up t killing two people. Luckily, like I wasn't. Luckily, I wasn't even. No, not even luckily. I wasn't even aiming my sights, and I was just basically kind of firing from the hip. And when I shot those two bullets from my laser. It actually got two kill confirms, and it was probably the coolest thing. And another favorite kill of mine was one that recently happened in the, in the Laser Combat Tournament. I'm going to be uploading that video real soon after I upload episode 12 of Laser Combat, so go ahead and check those out when you get the chance. Um, uh, I had, for the first time I've ever used the handgun for the Laser Combat, 
and I actually got my first kill at Rothkey Park. It was actually pretty satisfying because I've never used that gun before, and it was actually pretty cool to use. Uh, next question comes from, again, Lisa Chris Miller, who asks, what's my favorite gun? I have multiple favorite guns. I have an M4, which is uh, uh, this gun right here. I have an MK4, an MK14, which is this gun right here. Um, I have an AK, which I do not have right here, AK47. And then my favorite handgun of all time is an M19. So if I'm going to choose any gun, it's definitely going to be an M19 because of Call of Duty Black Ops and the fact that I just decided to spray paint my prop gun uh, the exact same kind of silver that it is in Black Ops um, Zombies. So yeah. Um, I have to say that's probably my favorite gun is an M is an M1911. So yeah, uh, let's continue on. Let's get another question going here. My friend David Leighton asked me, "What's my worst childhood trauma?" I don't really have many traumas to go through, but if I'm going to name injuries as a child. I accidentally stabbed my uh, I uh, jabbed my face really hard with a stick while playing outside. I fell on I fell down. The stick jabbed into the floor and then jabbed into my face as I was falling down. So yeah, that, that, that I don't really think I've had that many traumas, but I definitely have had a lot of injuries. Um, Jonathan Lay asked me a really strange question. Uh, so say you were stranded alone on a, des on a desert and dying of dehydration, would you, <coughs> would you bang me and give up your last amount of liquid to please me? Uh, no, I'd actually satisfy myself because, you know, that's... That's what I'm gonna do. If I'm de if I'm dying of dehydration, that's the worst way to go. So I'm definitely gonna use my last piece of the liquid in my body to please myself. So thank you very much. Um, next question comes from my girlfriend once again. Um, she did she ha she had asked me this question before when I was hanging out at my friend Bird's house, and I didn't answer because I just I couldn't. So now I'm gonna have to answer. Uh, next, she asks, "You said you would kill John if he gave you a wet willy." Would you kill me if I gave you one? You never answered my question. Uh, I wouldn't n kill you. I would probably maim you. Not really. I'd probably just get really mad and then go into the bathroom and wipe it out of my ear as usual because I hate wet willies. Uh, <laughs> uh, next question comes from uh, Shaylin Olivia Plucked. Uh, Plucked. If I'm saying that wrong, Shay, I'm sorry. Um, she asks, uh, who is your favorite friend and you gotta choose one? Now this was a really hard question to go by because a lot of you ended up fighting over me and it's so flattering. I mean, there's, ladies, ladies, there's plenty, there's plenty of me to go around, okay? There's plenty of me to go around. Um, anyways, uh, it was kind of hard to choose because all of you were fighting over who's my, who's my favorite friend, saying that you were my favorite friend, they were my favorite friend, yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty funny to watch, um, but I'm gonna have to tell you all, you're wrong. Uh, my favorite, my favorite best friend in the world would definitely be Xavier Morrell, which is AKA Pops from Buck Cherry, the drummer Buck Cherry. Um, he has been my friend since I was a little kid, and he's still my friend today. Uh, and we've been, we've been together for 20 years. Uh, that sounds kind of weird, but I don't care. Um, he, he's been around me since I was a little tyke, and he's still around me to this day, and he's about to be with me for 21 years once I turn 21. So it's going to be pretty awesome to think that we've been, uh, we've been so close for 21 years and still going on strong. Uh, next question comes from my friend Cam Zerman, and he always asks these really, 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 really weird questions. And um, <laughs> he asked me, if two goats die, how many pools will crash on the moon? Now the question to that is very simple, because I did a lot of research, and the answer is two goats and one pool. So this last question, we're going to get into the serious stuff here, comes from Ashley Miller. And uh, I, I, I bring my heart up to you, Ashley, for this question, so I'm not only giving you advice, I'm also talking to you as a friend. Um, she asked, uh, sorry for being sulky here, but w what do you do to help with depression? Well, basically, the thing is, it's like you can't really um, um, help it. It's more of a fact that you can ignore it, because if you ignore the depression by doing the following, uh, hanging out with friends, doing something that you love, that you're passionate about, watching uh, maybe some TV, playing some video games, or playing a card game, or something that you just enjoy in general, and just constantly and constantly and constantly and constantly just doing it every day 
until the depression just kind of fades away because depression, everybody says depression is not curable and they think that they got to take medication. But for some people that it may be true because some people do suffer a worse kind of depression and it's very, very fatal and they have to do it because if they don't take the medicine, they could end up hurting themselves. So, uh, but this kind of depression is more than likely to be curable because of the fact all you have to do is ignore it. By ignoring it, that's what I said. Doing every, doing whatever you want that makes you happy, makes you have fun, makes you smile, makes you laugh, and constantly, constantly, constantly keep doing it. Because if you don't, your head's gonna be stuck in the in the whole "oh, I'm depressed" thing, and then it's gonna keep rewinding you back to the same uh, attitude that you've been having, and it's just gonna make you sick. It's gonna make you super sad. You're not gonna want to be around your friends, and your friends are gonna get upset because they don't want you don't want to be around them. So what you want to do is definitely do those things and keep keeping yourself busy and do it constantly every day and don't just do the average every day I'm gonna come home after work and just sleep all day thing or I'm gonna come home after work and eat food and then uh, take a shower and then go go to bed or go to school uh, do my work come home watch some TV go to bed you don't want to do that stuff every day because that's kind of you're putting yourself in the, the zone of where your depression kind of came from so you don't want to be in that zone, you want to be out of it so that way depression can't focus its time and effort on you. You want to get out there and do things and get rid of it. So that's my answer to you, Ashley. So my heart goes out to you. I hope you're doing well and all that good stuff. So yeah, that was, those are really good questions, guys. This was actually a really good quick Q&A video. I actually enjoyed those questions a lot. And yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be making more Q&As every month, one video every month. So make sure that every time you see a post of me doing a Q&A, you give me your best question and I'll answer for you. Until then, thanks for watching.